on our way to Los Molinos for all the missionary families that enjoyed this property. We're up here to come to do baptismal program with the church, with the youth. We have arrived to Los Molinos. There you go. Well, the old buildings are still here. Here's a part of the camp in Los Molinos. The beautiful, fresh, clear water comes down through the property. They can use it for everything. And there's a group of youth that are having their morning study and some of the mothers from the church community. And beautiful eucalyptus trees around the mountain. They call this Los Molinos because many years ago they used to grind wheat here. Molino means my uh, milling. And these are the millstones that they used to use. And the water would come up from the mountain and they'd run it through these channels that you see here. There's a swimming pool down there they've turned and the fresh water comes through these channels here that you see from up in the mountains. And way up in the mountains, there's a waterfall. And this is one milling, millstone. This is another one, but it's there more as a decoration. And the youth pastor and his wife are sitting on the other one. They have a fair-sized swimming pool down there and a small one down here. Sometimes they do the baptisms in the swimming pool but the church has decided they want to go way up into the mountain and they're going to do it natural along the river. Let's see. There's the youth having their program. This would be a memory for a lot of families who had children of missionary background who came here for camping from Karachipampa and the different missionary schools and churches. And we used to play down in the river. Well, I'm in my 50s and I had decided that I'd come back to Bolivia to do short-term ministries back in 2011. Los Molinos and ABC had asked if there was any way I could encourage people to support this renovation of Los Molinos. I asked for friends, people who had enjoyed this place in their youth, if in any way their heart is touched and remember the beauty of this place and would be willing to come and support Los Molinos renovation. That's the river we used to play in as kids. And this is, I don't know if any of the people who had lived here know, tuna, the fruit that grows on it, it's not the season for it, but we used to enjoy it a lot. And now a lot of youth from the different churches have come and right now the church we're supporting is Iglesia Misionera from Colcapirua and they're going to be having baptism down in that river and we as kids used to play down there the waterfalls is way over there it's a beautiful beautiful area in the mountains and this property is owned by the Baptist Church here in Cochabamba Bolivia but it needs funds and maybe teams that would be willing to come down and help in renovation. 
Right now, there's four different churches that have joined together to enjoy the day here. Coming back down here to the property, it's still the old buildings. They've renovated some on the other side, but they're looking at redoing bedrooms. This, they want to turn into a, a basketball court or a small fulbito. If not, they plan on putting a building here because they have a, a little fulbito court on the other side, but they need a lot of renovation. For all you missionary kids from the 1960s to the 1980s and 90s that came to Bolivia as missionary kids, you probably remember these rooms. They had uh, the dormitory, you know, where we used to stay. They're in pretty rough condition. They need some funds to renovate this place. Church communities don't have a lot of financial resources. They have a lot of investments into their own uh, churches that they have to put. Here we are with the rest of the church group. And this is an area where people come and have breakfast, the dining room tables. And then there's the renovation that's being built, the newer building that's still haven't been finished, but we'll be going there to check it out in a few minutes. Beautiful pathway down to the back and uh, property. There's a small Fulvito court, but it needs a lot of work too because they need to put some kind of a railing that would go along the back there because people have fallen off and hurt themselves, especially when they get too excited. I love the fact that they have natural water running through this property all the way down. This water is so clean, you can drink it. And they filled their swimming pool with it. Uh, they filled their water tanks. Uh, they don't tend to have much of a problem with water up here, as in other parts of uh, Cochabamba and, and some, you know, it's beautiful because the water runs down and then they block it off so it doesn't go to certain places and it runs it to the other buildings. We're just gonna go down to see the property down here between the eucalyptus trees. They wanna do something with that. At this point, they have all sorts of proposals and ideas, but they have uh, the property down here that you see that is partially finished. It's in fairly good condition. There's a path that goes down, and then this path goes over to this newer building over here, which for all of us kids, well, we're not kids anymore, but for all of us, missionary families that came here. Beautiful fire pit. People sit and sing and they enjoy the fire pit. The property is really nice, just needs some loving care. And this is the building that was just put up a year and a half ago, but they built things based on the funds they had. They finished the back part there with windows and everything. Now they have to finish this one that has two stories. Then they'll knock down our history or the past. I don't know what they plan on doing with it, but that older part is in pretty rough condition. But major, major importance to all of this, which they don't have funds for, is to put, uh, they call it in Spanish, muralla, or a wall that desperately has to go around the property because there's a, a squatter's right and there's a lot of people wanting to steal land and the property's huge. So we need to desperately put a wall around this property.
here's a little test for all missionary kids from the past. I know we're no longer children, but this is a fruit we used to eat a lot. And it grows off these trees and it shows you how old and rustic these trees are. That gentleman is one of the administrators here. He is praying a lot, crying a lot, and asking the Lord to find a way to support this project. This place brings a lot of memories to North American kids, but it also brings a lot of beautiful uh, enjoyment for the churches here in the community. The pastor is teasing the members that whoever doesn't sing and jump in joy for this song will be one of the first ones in the cold water of baptism. Poor grandma can't jump and she's afraid they'll baptize her in cold water. So they're all smiling and there's our favorite instrument. is supporting this church personally but we really ask for your support for Los Molinos memories for all missionary kids what a beautiful place Se quedó conmigo en el fracaso, en mi oscuridad y mis momentos bajos. Everybody's doing this song where they have to dance a little, clap a lot, and they're teasing me that I'm a little too tieso, meaning I'm stiff. We'll see, maybe I'll loosen up. Se quedó conmigo en el fracaso. This is to introduce a little bit about this particular church is Colcatirua. We're doing mission works since 2017. We've been trying to support them, school supplies, money. And in 2019, August, we would like to put a team together to come down and help them with some repair work in a building they have where they have a project called Pepe. Pepe is a project where they do work with children. Even compassion's involved and they they help with food, with uh, certain uh, materials. We help with school supplies and funds 
and we'd also like to help them come down and do some renovations in bathrooms and in the building to better the school. They have approximately 280 kids from the school system that come to them and they help them with their homework, they help them with different projects that they have to do, plus they teach them about the Word of God. It is an amazing project. It's a project that is really touching the lives of children in the rural communities that have never heard of the Word of God. If we ask, I know I've been told. I'd like to pull your heartstrings. Please. Thank you. The river right now, where the baptisms are going to be, these young boys are going to set up rocks so they can hold back the water. Amazing. These are all the young guys from the church. We're going down. Greetings from uh, <laughs> greetings to Canada from Bolivia. Thank you, Lord. Way down to put the rocks onto the river. Holy the altitude. If you're not accustomed to it, locks the oxygen. Okay, all of you missionary kids that haven't come back, here's the beauty of Los Molinos. Pray to God this wall doesn't fall on us, but it smells the same. You can smell the eucalyptus trees. It's beautiful. Se quedó conmigo en el fracaso En mi oscuridad en mis momentos bajos Y a pesar de cruzar tal pienso Se quedó Se quedó conmigo en el fracaso Pues es la pena de la gente que va a cruzar Y a pesar de cruzar I feel sorry for the people that are getting a duck. That water is cold. Y si aquí, porque dijo que estaría conmigo hasta el final, porque prometió la obra termina. Él sigue aquí. No.
Con la paciencia de su amor, él sigue aquí. 